Hi everyone, this is Simko Aitowicz from Firefly Sci, and today we're going to be doing an instructional video on how to use our FUV 1D filter. The D stands for dual purpose, and this filter is meant to test for both photometric accuracy and stray light. So you can test for both photometric accuracy and stray light with one single filter. So let's jump right in, I'll show you how to use it. As usual, the first thing we're going to do is put on our spectrophotometer and let it warm up for 45 minutes. So we're going to perform this stray light test at 360 nanometers and I already have that dialed into the machine right here. And now I'm just going to go ahead and zero the machine. I'm sorry, I'm going to zero the machine with nothing in the cuvette holder. So I just wanted to explain the difference between the two sets of data. The front scan data, which is right here, is used for the photometric scan and the back scan data is used for the stray light scan. We'll be specifying which set of data you should use as we go along. Now I'm just gonna insert the FUV1D filter with the white dot here facing the light source of the spectrophotometer. And now we'll compare the reading on the spectrophotometer to the certificate of calibration so we'll, again, we're looking at 360 nanometers and our machine showing a reading of 0 0.913. And we're doing the front scan right now. So here we go, 0 0.913 is perfect. So now we're ready to flip the filter over and test the back side to, to get the straight light. Okay, so now we'll rotate the filter 180 degrees. So the white dot is no longer facing the light beam and it's facing away from the light beam. Put it back in, not making any adjustments to the spectrophotometer, close the lid, and we'll take the reading. Okay, and here's our reading from the back scan, which is 0 0.914, and let's put it on the certificate again. So now we want to look at the back scan. So we're just going to look at here, back, 360 nanometers, and again, 0 0.914, which is perfect. And now let's go over how we calculate straight light with these two values. So we need two sets of values to calculate stray light. Value 1 is determined from the data on the certificate of calibration. So we take the front data and subtract it from the back data and this will give us the first value we need and we'll call it value 1. For value 2, we take the readings from the front and back scan that we just took. We have to subtract value 1 from value 2 and this will give us the stray light for our machine. So we'll take the values for the front and back scan directly from the certificate of calibration and we get 0.001 for value 1. Now we'll take the front scan and back scan data and we get 0.001 for value 2. 0.001 minus 0.001 is 0 so our machine has no stray light at 360 nanometers. Just a few quick notes. Number one is always check your owner's manual for the stray light process for your machine. Number two is always make sure you account for the extended tolerance, which is the tolerance of the calibration standard, plus the spectrophotometer tolerance, in this case for straight light. Add those two together and you get the extended tolerance. If the photometric data is off, contact the manufacturer of your machine for more information. Do not attempt to check straight light if the photometric data is not in spec. The working wavelength range of the FUV's filters is 200 to 700 nanometers. Stray light can be checked at any wavelength. It's important when you do a stray light scan to check the photometric accuracy and the stray light accuracy at the same wavelength and you don't switch wavelengths in between scans. So thanks again for checking out the video. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. We're always happy to hear from you. And if you liked this video and it was helpful, please hit us with a thumbs up. And if it wasn't so helpful again, thumbs down is fine. It's all good things. And we'll see you next time.